Europe's energy crisis is getting worse. Brian Sullivan joins us right now with the latest news on Russian natural gas exports to the continent. All of this coming as prices continue to soar, or prices soaring because all of this is coming, we probably should say, Brian. But this is getting ugly, and the days are counting down until we start getting colder weather. Yeah, it's ugly, and it's getting worse, Becky. I mean, I, listen, I wish I had better news to report, but Vladimir Putin continues to play games with Germany's energy supply Flows of the Nord Stream 1 pipeline once again expected to be cut back. Now, they came down, actually, just a couple of hours ago. A couple of percent I just checked. And later on today, or maybe around midnight Europe time, Gazprom has said it may cut the total flows by half. If so, that would be down to just 20% of total capacity, down from the already reduced rate of 40%, which, of course, is where they restarted it last Thursday. Now, the Russian monopoly is blaming a pipeline engine, a turbine, for any cutback. Germany is effectively, and I'll summarize, calling that a lie. They say the, energy, the engine is not relevant, and there's always a backup one anyway. But this cutback is surging spot natural gas prices in Europe again, guys. This contract, this Dutch TTF we've been showing you for now a couple of months, is now at 217 per contract. The contract is priced in euros per megawatt hour. But if you do the conversion, that is the same as 60 U.S. dollars per natural gas contract. We are paying $9.10 for the same contract. They're paying 60. We're paying nine and change. Think about that. I'm going to put it another way. Natural gas prices right now on the spot market on one level are probably roughly equivalent to about $300 to $350 per barrel of oil. Now, that is also spiking electricity costs, guys. That's also near records in many countries. Utility costs are up. And I want you to consider that is with some Russian gas still flowing. What happens if gas gets cut off in full? They have the 10-day maintenance. What if Putin just decides to turn off the tap? Well, the IMF had a report. It was wonky and long. Statista did a good job maybe cleaning up some of the numbers. Here's what they found shows the macro EU economy taking about a 3% hit 12 months after the gas cutoff. Hungary would get hit the worst. Italy the second. Germany up there as well. Remember, the total European economy is about $18 trillion, the same as China. Europe could account for about 10% or more of some company sales. So we're talking about this not because it's a potential humanitarian and economic disaster for Europe, Becky, but let's not forget, there's also a lot of impact to the U.S. markets here. Companies that have a lot of sales in Europe could get hit. Oh, and by the way, the euro is collapsing. And there was a hedge fund yesterday that made a bet that the euro would fall to 80 cents against the dollar. A strong dollar sounds nice, right? You got the eagle on your shoulder and the Yankees and the hot dogs. But if you're selling goods around the world, that kind of a strong dollar is not necessarily what you want to have. A lot of angles to this story. I know I've been beating the drum on it for about six months, but it's a, it's a big deal.